as no melt, no drip is um, it's a highly dangerous topic and it's uh, discussed a lot, it's misunderstood a lot. So that's the reason why I would like to share my ideas and my experiences with no melt, no drip in the case of tactic clothing. I give you an example and you might better understand why it is such a such an important issue. I received a phone call by uh, um, a member of a bomb squad and he said if uh, they could get Striker XT uh, for their bomb squad in FR. And I said, yeah, we do make Striker XT in FR. We wouldn't call it Striker XT, but Striker FR. Uh, and he could get that. And then he continued and asked, yeah, well, um, could we also get it with uh, no melt, no drip fabric? And I said, yeah, ther theoretically, yes, we have the multicam, it's no melt, no drip. Uh, uh, and I asked him why he would like to have uh, no melt, no drip as part of a bomb squad. So he said, yeah, well, you know, um, I think that it's cheaper, it's more comfortable and as I understood it, no melt, no drip is kind of a flame retardant light. And I thought I have to interfere here. <laughs> so um, th there is no such thing as flame retardant light. You cannot be half pregnant and flame retardant light doesn't exist. There exists flame retardant and non-flame retardant. Let's define first what we would like to talk about. We would like to talk about flame retardant uh, garments for operators. So not firefighters. We're not talking about fragments or protection against fragments which are released by or, or shot through the, through the environment by, by an IED. We're just talking about a heat stress, very high temperatures. We're talking about toxic gases, um, which are triggered uh, when things are burning. We're talking about hot gases, which is things are burning, and then hot gases uh, cause serious injuries. Uh, and we're talking, of course, about the flame, injuries which are caused by the flame. Again, we're talking about very high temperatures, we're talking about flames. Both of them can seriously injure yourself. They start with the skin and they continue with the lungs. For example, hot gases. It doesn't have to be a toxic gas. Hot gas alone is already enough to totally burn your lungs. And then, of course, we also have toxic gases. So this is the threat. <clears throat> we are not talking about firefighters, we are talking about IADs, we are talking about traps which release uh, short but <clears throat> very strong explosions. No melt, no drip means that um, something is burning, it's just not melting and dripping. So, for example, you all burned already a paracord in order to torch the ends. Um, so, you light it, it starts to melt, and then it starts to drop. This is what we are talking about. No melt, no drip textiles do not melt and do not drip, but they definitely burn. For example, 100% cotton, 100% cotton is definitely no melt, no drip. It burns, yeah, but it doesn't drip and it doesn't melt. So the injuries that you are, theoretically, the injuries that could be prevented is injuries which are caused by synthetic fibers which are melting and burning into your skin and which through a painful operation a doctor or surgeon has to uh, take away again. The other advantage of no melt, no drip is that usually the flame spreads slower. That means it might give you the time to, to pad the flame off and um, not stand in flames within a second. 
So these are actually the benefits uh, and the level of protection that you can expect from no melt, no drip. But if you are getting into an explosion, then no melt, no drip will probably not save you because you are exposed to such high temperatures and the, the heat, the flame, gases, that is what is causing the real injuries. Let's go on the other side to FR garments, so flame retardant garments. A couple of things have to be made sure that you understand. First of all, the material, the textile material, it's made out of fibers, it's a fabric, and we have either fabrics which are made out of fibers, which are inherently uh, flame retardant. That means they don't burn. And then there is another category, and that is a pretty new technology. So it's since the last 10, five years, getting more and more popular. We are also using it for our <clears throat> FR garments. And that is a technology where you glue together two, two textiles. None of them has to be flame retardant, um, but the glue itself, it holds graphite. And that graphite, when it is hit by high temperature, uh, swells, it expands by a factor of 10, 20, 30, which means it swells and, and gets out of, the, <clears throat> out of the fabric and graphite is not burning. So it builds like a protective shield on the surface of the fabric and prevents the fabric from burning. Of course, it's destroyed afterwards, but any flame retardant garment is destroyed after you were in serious contact with flames. So your flame retardant garments, they definitely have to be made out of flame retardant materials, flame retardant textiles, which is either inherent flame retardant fibers or um, pyroshell, pyrite, that, that is these graphite based technologies. Of course, you have to make sure that all the components which are used for your, for your FR garment, they also have to be FR. Your Velcros have to be FR, your, your ribbons have to be of FR. Everything has to be made of FR, uh, FR components. Thread has to be, of course, also flame retardant because you can imagine that if your thread is not flame retardant, then uh, your textiles are just falling off of you uh, when you're exposed to high temperatures because the thread would be burning. And of course, what is also very, very, very important is that your whole garment system has to be flame retardant. It's of very little use to wear a flame retardant outer shell and underneath everything is made of polyester or nylon. It's not important that you know every detail or remember every detail, but what I want you to, to remember from this topic spotlight is that if you are afraid or if you will be in contact with a threat related to flames, explosions, make sure that you're really equipped for that. That means flame retardant garments, a flame retardant garment system that you are wearing, and definitely also breathing uh, uh, respirators, um, which prevent you against hot gases, toxic gases. And uh, please don't go into a critical situation and thinking that no melt, no drip is kind of flame retardant light and could potentially save your backside. It doesn't.